Hello everyone. In this series of video, we'll be discussing about RM and IPR module one question bank with answer set two. Set one video is already uploaded. This is the second lecture lecture series. So moving on to the video, we are going to see about the research methodology and intellectual property rights where we have five modules in it and the first module is dealing with the research methodology in that first module we are going to see about the important questions with the point answers so moving on to the video first question is differentiate research methods versus research methodology so research method is different methodology is different so under five criteria we are going to determine the difference between the research methods and methodology yes now what is the meaning of research method so research method is nothing but it is employed by the researcher to conduct a research it is a method where you are going to conduct a research for a particular problem statement methodology is nothing but it is going to tell how to solve the research problem so what it is what research method or methodology means so research method is nothing but it is used in selecting and constructing the research technique what kind of technique or technology can it be constructed is research methods methodology is nothing but it is a way of understanding the problem it is way of understanding the science and understanding how the research methods can be performed third point encompasses what it encompasses yes it is carrying out a different experiments test facts details surveys and so on here methodology will be dealing with different techniques that is a kind of algorithm procedure to check the performance of a particular system what research method or methodology comprises of so research method will have investigation techniques you will have why what how all kind of investigation techniques will be dealt with research methods and methodology is nothing but complete strategy what is the complete procedure or algorithm to achieve the desired result is what your research methodology what is the objectives so objective of research method is to solve a particular problem statement research methodology is to apply the correct algorithm or procedure to determine the particular results or solution yes so moving on to the next question demonstrate how to solve a worthwhile problem solving so in the other series of video we have seen how to solve a research problem like we had four points how to understand how to put the strategies how to execute the plan how to bring back the conclusion all those were the four steps now how you will tell a particular problem is whether worth solving or not so now moving on to the answer you can say see generally it a uh, worthwhile research problem is nothing but it will be having a non intuitive counter intuitive that is it will have many intuitive questions along with the problem solution maybe the a uh, problem sol uh, solving that is it will be the central part of the theory to know what the re desired result will be so this will be like you will be telling whether the new methods will really improve a problem statement whether the practical application that is applied is worthwhile to solve the particular problem all those will be checked and then constrained that yes it is a problem that is worth solving understood so moving on to the third question explain the motivation in engineering research so you have three types of motivation one is intrinsic extrinsic and social motivation so intrinsic motivation is nothing but you are doing out of your own interest to achieve something extrinsic motivation is nothing but it is a research done because of peer pressure because of the others pressure you are doing a particular research social motivation is in form of like if you want to uh, gain a financial benefits for that you do a research that is social motivation so engineers are motivated by having three main motivation that is how to solve a unsolvable problem how to improve the latest technology available and how to contribute all those technology and science to the society how do you put forth the things to the public forum 
so these are the three motivation that an engineering research focuses on so moving on to the next question demonstrate the intrinsic and extrinsic motivation with real time example so we saw what is intrinsic and extrinsic right intrinsic is doing out of our own interest challenging ourselves learning things what is the purpose why we learn knowing the purpose all those are intrinsic motivation so you can tell a real time example that a particular student why he chooses engineering background why do he gets into a research on studying what physics is what chemistry is what electronics is maybe that will be a real time example extrinsic is nothing but it is a factor done for rewards that is expecting a fame money awards all those say for example if a research outcome you do that you are filing as a patent then you become very rich and famous because you hold a particular patent which nobody holds it is particularly very very uh, good technology that nobody has invented and out of which you also see financial benefits that is extrinsic motivating motivation so with real time examples you have to code these to motivation explain the ethical perspective of research to be followed so whenever you are doing a research there are some set of ethics that has to be followed like the ethics is nothing what ethics actually is it is nothing but it is a rule that has to be accepted to conduct a research yes so what is that rule means so when we are collecting the data evaluating the data interpreting the data's or laws you have to be more cautious that you do ethically you don't steal other person's data other person's fact you don't steal from facts from any websites the facts must be done by yourself so that is the ethical principle that we need to follow so research ethics is completely responsible for the conduct of complete research when you are going to plagiarize some other fact then it is not actually your fact you are going you are one or the other way infringing others facts or others technology so it is not a way of maintaining ethical conduct of research so once you have to maintain the research ethic ethic then you have to follow that you don't infringe any of the data and it is only your own data yes so rich research ethics otherwise it is going to examine the application research outcomes whether the apply, uh, the applied research has a good outcome how it is going to deal with how it is undertaken all those will be taken care these are the ethical perspectives next question summarize the different types of research misconduct so you have three types of misconduct fabrication falsification plagiarism so as we have already discussed that we have to maintain an ethical perspective when you are doing a research so these are the three types of misconduct a people may do when they do a research when they conduct a research so first is fabrication what is fabrication yes it is creating that is creation of data once created data when it is fabricated when it is changed then you tell it as fabrication some or the other data is put into the real data and making it seem to a new data that is fabrication falsification is a particular the fact that you take will be misinterpreted that is misrepresented you will alter the data and present in front of the forum then that is we are doing a falsification to a particular data plagiarism plagiarism is nothing but you are using somebody's work you are reusing the work reusing the technology already available you are reusing the existing technology telling it a new technology it doesn't mean that you are research conduct is done by yourself plagiarism is nothing but reuse of some other's work so these are the three types of misconduct and you can quote with some real time examples explain in detail about the ethics in research practice and why it is needed yes so there are three tips first is the research right is actually required to conduct a research where it is going to completely influence the developed technology when an ethical practice is maintained it is going to affect the developed technology second one is it is it is through design that is the process will translate the blueprint what is see in form of flow diagram in form of a graph that will be ethically translated in the way a particular man can understand so that 
process is called as design process so design process is one of the priority and pr prioritized or important requirement in the ethical aspects and the last one is the engineering researchers must be able to choose different alternatives to fulfill the desired result if suppose a algorithm is applied and that particular algorithm doesn't work properly for the desired result then the researcher must should have an alternative to fulfill the ethical perspective so that the research is conducted successfully yes so these are the three main steps that you have to remember and you can develop the notes yes hope you have understood the concept please be stay tuned for more information thank you